Hey, welcome back into Low Country Money Talk. If you are just tuning in, you are in luck. Phil Bloyd is here. In fact, he's still here. He joined us on the break and returning to talk more. For those of you who are in retirement, nearing retirement, some important conversations are being had today, and I'm so glad you're here for it. All right. I'm glad to get into it. Well, and there's a lot to get into because we're talking about, you know, really how much income do people need? Before the break, we touched on taxes and how that really can impact, you know, your distributions and and make a difference, of course, in the overall number. We learned sure. a little bit about what that dollar may actually equal. Mm -hmm. And here's a spoiler: if you missed it, it's not a dollar. No. But there's other factors to consider. Sure. Walk us through some okay, of them. Okay, let's talk. Uh, first, we established that if we have a deferred account, like an IRA or four hundred one k, that a dollar's not really worth a dollar because you have a partner and it's not your spouse. If we take the A and put an S and the I R S is your partner on That's these deferred partner. accounts. So they're going to want their part. And of course at 72 in these deferred accounts, they're going to make you start the distribution because they want their part, you know? Uh, but let's talk about something else, Jess, so we, inflation. Yeah. Because now we're okay. What's a dollar in retirement in a deferred account worth? Well, we take the dollar, we subtract whatever our taxes do, you know, 22%, whatever it may be, okay? But also the value of the dollar. So when I'm spending this dollar, what is it worth? Wow, yeah. Yeah, well right now, we're told that we're at a 6.4% inflation. So we know, <laughs> that sounds light if you actually look at gasoline, you know, I'm just wondering exactly. There are certainly categories where groceries, right? six point four is light. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So if I take that dollar and let's say after my standard deductions and all this stuff, it's worth eighty cents. And then I go to buy groceries and I take another ten or fifteen percent hit from that. Right. Right? It's what I can spend that dollar on. Now, we did find out something though over the last week or so that the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, he said that we need to get rid of this word called uh, transitory. Now, how many times have you used that word in your lifetime? This, today might be the first, <laughs> right. actually. Yeah. Right. So they, he said originally the Federal Reserve, you know, they're in charge of our monetary system in the country. He said that inflation in the beginning was transitory. So that means, you know, temporary, not a long time. Well, he just recently had a meeting and he said, we need to stop using that word. Uh-oh. And I'm like, you're the one that coined the phrase. Right. You know, was, so um, now we know that inflation, according to the Federal Reserve, is gonna be around for a bit. Wow. See, so now we have to take this into an account. Now we're taking the dollar in income. We have to pay the income taxes. We have to figure the purchasing power of this dollar. So guess what? We may need more dollars. So we may need to adjust that plan a bit. It sounds like we definitely do need more dollars because you know you're really getting hit in both areas. Our partner, as you mentioned, the IRS, <laughs> and that no more, tra no longer transitory inflation. Yeah. Uh, that to your point, boy, that bicycle is looking good. Oh, I tell you, you know, <laughs> if you can get it now, then if you look at the bicycle, you have to talk about health costs, oh, right? That's a good point. Because yeah. you're going to get there wiped you know. out riding down the road on that <laughs> bicycle. Okay. Be careful in the summer. That's right. So now we take another hit at the dollar. So we have the IRS to take care of. We have the Federal Reserve with the inflation to deal with. Now we have health care costs. So I, I need to in, uh, include this in all my planning. Mm -hmm. So how much does it cost for long-term care? You know, $10,000 a month to stay in a facility or something? Maybe more? Well, what if I'm only 63? Then how much should I expect that to be when I'm 83? Right. You know, these are some things maybe we can talk about here in the next segment. And in the coming segments, we will address these. As people are living longer too, we're really needing to plan for these different things mm -hmm. for an even longer period of time. But the good news is, of course, that we're gonna help you do that. And of course, Philip's gonna help us do that. I am just the listener and learner, and boy, I've learned a lot. This is great information for our viewers. We hope you'll stick with us. We'll be right back with more Low Country Money Talk.